Hello everyone. Today I will talk about the ARVR 2020. My name is Satoshi Goppo. And let's look back at the history of the ARVR. The concept has been there since the 1930. And in 1960, uh, Ivan Shkiras, he created the first VR uh, gadget, which is like this. It's a huge mount set uh, compared to the current one. But then the, and also the very narrow anku, but still works, but not like the 360. Then the Nintendo also brought us uh, the, but another virtual reality, which is a virtual boy. Uh, inside of here, it's, uh, everything is uh, red and then black, but still it works. Uh, but it couldn't become the popular, unlike uh, the Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo or some other the gadget that Nintendo introduced. Uh, 2016, it was, uh, uh, it's called the Cambria uh, the era at that time. Uh, there's a bunch of the VR gadget has been introduced to 2016. Uh, Google Cardboard, Samsung Kia, PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, HR VR, Vibe, uh, the Magic Clip, uh, Microsoft HoloLens, like that. Uh, there's a, um, for example, like this Magic Clip uh, and also the HoloLens, this is a uh, more like AR and uh, the mixed reality which you can still see the reality with the digital contents. Whereas the others, uh, mostly this one is a purely the uh, VR, virtual uh, reality. And then who uh, started this fire was the Oculus founder. He actually looking for the, this kind of gadget, 2008 or 2009, but couldn't find in that, at that time the market. Then he ended up having the own the, uh, the gadget. Then uh, he started, uh, kick-started the own company and then uh, the made the prototype. And then eventually uh, Facebook found the gadget and then they merged the company. Uh, what's the difference between AR and VR? AR is an argument reality, which you can have the uh, digital contents inside of the reality. Whereas the VR is a virtual reality, it's a purely 100% the digital contents. Uh, Oculus Quest has been released uh, last year, 2000, 2019 June. Uh, they released this uh, new uh, gadget, which is this, like the Oculus Quest, they have no cable, uh, 60 OF, uh, mature IDE, so uh, they have two mainly uh, famous idea there, the 360 degree and then audio uh, is inside there. So the, the why is a, a huge leap compared to other uh, virtual reality VR is the no cable. Uh, you can uh, find your own the play area. You can, f you can just create your own uh, playing area. Uh, then you don't have to connect to the any other console like the PC or Mac or all the other things not necessary. Uh, 6DOF, I will explain this one later. Uh, here is uh, 6DOF versus 3DOF. 3DOF is uh, if you move, then other object is also moving. 6DOF, if you are moving, then other, other object doesn't move. Doesn't, uh, means uh, it's almost uh, similar to the reality. Uh, because of this reason, 6DOF is more popular. Of course, it's more adapted by many the gadget. Uh, 3DOF is, let's say, like previous the Oculus uh, gadget, it's called the Oculus Go, is adapting this 3DOF. Uh, ID, uh, they have the two major ID for Oculus, uh, Oculus or Vibes or those the, uh, VR uh, creation. One is uh, Unity. Uh, Unity, you can uh, bring the 3D uh, model inside here, and then change the angle, or you can try to uh, write the own script in C Sharp, and then, yeah, you can create a game. Uh, targeting to the multi-platform, it's not only uh, Oculus, but also the mobile, Android, and then iOS, uh, and then Linux, Mac, and then Windows too. Whereas this uh, Unreal Engine, uh, this one is also 
popular. It's uh, graphic was very excellent. Uh, many people, many uh, developer plays about this one. Uh, very versatile. Uh, if you want to write a script, C++, but mostly you don't have to write a code because like a blueprint that, that uh, you can just uh, bring uh, some node, uh, then uh, graphically you can make a program. VR sales is, uh, is just uh, scaling and then going up. Uh, especially after the Oculus Quest has been released, uh, it's uh, skyrocketing. Um, it also, like uh, since the coronavirus uh, issue now, uh, many people stay at home. They are looking for the home entertainment. Because of that reason, another reason, uh, they may want to find this one. Also, they can uh, watch the Netflix inside of here. You don't have to buy a huge screen. The huge screen is already prepared if you just uh, play the Netflix application. And also, you have very nice cozy the room inside there. Uh, the atmo atmosphere is very nice. So you don't have to care about uh, your own space, like the room, rooms, uh, the interior. The Lacten Hackathon, the last year, uh, October, we, uh, we hold this uh, event. Uh, then many people, uh, participants came in, and then uh, we are uh, basically uh, targeting for this uh, AR VR things as a topic. Then many people brought us a uh, very interesting idea, and then one of them is like this. So that this, uh, I can show you. So the inside of the VR, uh, they created the, the cooking system, cooking application. So they can flip the hamburger like this. Also uh, making spaghetti or sandwich, uh, they can practice uh, in this application. Solution for the VR, they have many, but mainly uh, many people is going to the game first. The game is, uh, you can, uh, same as the Apple Store or the Google Play, you can create the application and then uh, publish to the Oculus Store or um, the Steam. Uh, then many people can download. Also, it's very famous, like a Saido uh, Quest. That is uh, another uh, indie game uh, marketplace. You can just also upload there, then people can purchase what people can uh, download free. Another one is a uh, training. Uh, before going to further, means that okay, before uh, training in the reality, uh, people can train uh, themselves inside of this virtual reality. Uh, another one is uh, experience before the purchase. Means like uh, if if that if trying to purchase that is very expensive. If that is the case, then first they create the virtual uh, VR. Then uh, let them uh, experience, then see uh, what's going on there. Then after that experience, they can change the real, real one. Uh, let's say like uh, if before creating the uh, building, uh, in Singapore, let's say like uh, HDV or some condo, for example, uh, before creating that one, you can create the virtual reality. You can go there, you can just check about the stairs, uh, door, window, anything, ceiling, uh, then you can see, like, find, like, uh, how you feel about this, then eventually go into the other one. So that is another way of the use. use. Solution for the AR, the map routing, this is a navigation uh, via the reality. You can also see the digital contents. Uh, also the game. Uh, most of famous uh, about the AR is uh, Pokemon Go, maybe. Uh, you can uh, just walk, go somewhere, then find the character, catch, but everything is happening from camera, uh, the game. And then also they have the digital content. So it's mixed the digital content and then the reality. Object detection. Uh, nowadays, uh, the, from the AI, we can find, uh, we can identify the, what this object is. Uh, based on that, uh, that this is also the same. Like the, uh, via the camera, we see the reality. Then from the camera, they can detect the object and then find the name of the, the object. Uh, VR is mature, AR is not mature. Why? It's because uh, the AR is still using AI. The AI is still not mature. Uh, for example, the self-driving. Self-driving is not 
the uh, much higher yet. It's not the completed yet. Uh, same goes the air. Uh, uh, air is we have still use. Uh, you have to use the uh, AI, the technology. So then, uh, since it's not the completed, so air is not mature. VR is mature. It's because everything is a digital content. Let's say like a game itself, uh, everything is concrete in the, in the everything uh, digital content. So uh, that is uh, doesn't have to interact with the reality. So that means. Uh, uh, basically, like you can create a very nice the game inside there. Uh, VR benefits the like I say uh, saving the space. Let's say like uh, if you create the VR meeting room. Uh, in the physical uh, meeting room, there are limit limit. Uh, somebody is using, then you cannot use that one. But then, uh, if you have the digital meeting room. You just wear this uh, VR uh, the headman set, and then you can uh, join that meeting uh, without caring uh, the distance, without caring about the space. You can share, uh, talk, share uh, the screen, and then also, yeah, you can have the conversation there too. Uh, affect emotion. Let's talk. Let's say uh, the horror game. Uh, horror game in the 2D screen is not that scary because you can still see the reality. But uh, if we talk about the 360 all degree, uh, all surrounded by the horror atmosphere, you may feel very, very scared. Uh, extended reality, this is uh, another reality which you, in the current you, uh, you just face your own reality. But if you just wear this one, you can extend, you can beyond the actual reality, it means like you can go further, like the scientific uh, movie, like Star Wars or those kind of things. Uh, you can create that kind of like imagine imaginative the world inside of this VR. Uh, AR benefit is extended reality, same goes, same as uh, VR. The bridge between the analog and the digital. Uh, we, uh, Google, Grass has been uh, introduced uh, maybe like uh, uh, seven, eight years ago. Uh, then that concept is still uh, AR, right? So uh, the idea is basically we just to uh, see the reality with the data contents. If we want to find somebody's name, uh, but, but just by seeing that person's face, we can detect that person's information. Like that. So uh, we are still, like, this uh, stage is still immature. It's not, uh, uh, but still it's progress, making a, make a progress by many companies. Market growth is it's just growing, uh, especially after this uh, coronavirus situation, uh, people may find the AR, VR, especially the VR could be the another solution because uh, everything is uh, remotely, uh, we can connect. And then also, we don't have to care about the distance. We don't have to care about the, yeah. So like uh, the location-wise, you can still talk to the other people via this uh, VR. Uh, you may still feel like reality. Okay, so the, this is a demo, uh, which I created some of the game uh, via this uh, Unity. Uh, I can show you that one. Unity, uh, which I created uh, for the game, and then this is a VR drama. What is a VR drama? It's because uh, VR drama is uh, you can play like uh, if you, somebody may know the Beat Saber. It's kind of similar. Uh, you just hit the, the object it, since it's coming to the character to the player. So you just hit, but that is a drum. So symbol and then. Uh, the snare, it keep coming, and you just hit and then hear the sound of this, uh, the drum, uh, based on uh, the music. That's what I have made. Uh, okay, so let's, it's Unity.
It's just to keep coming the snare or the cymbal is and then it's just hit. It's basically that's it. It's uh, only one week. Uh, I just create it and then maybe if I finish everything, then I will upload to the side or side quest maybe. So like this. Okay, so now uh, let's talk more about the other application in the Oculus. So the Oculus, uh, they have like, a, let's say like a next to, next to VR. Uh, you can see, uh, you can see uh, the basketball uh, game via this uh, VR. You don't have to go to the stadium. You just, uh, you can be there via this uh, VR gadget. Uh, which is, you can feel very reality, then you don't have to purchase that huge, uh, expensive ticket. Also, this is another case I mentioned, like be, uh, you probably, uh, uh, before building the actual architecture, you can experience that one, with a stair, with a door, with a... So those stuff uh, can be created in the virtual reality. Also, this is another one, the physical operation. Uh, of course, like the human body, the operating human body is very, uh, it's critical things. So before going further, uh, they can practice by using this uh, VR gadget and then they can see the, it looks like real. But uh, yeah, you can uh, experience like how you feel about this uh, operation. Also, this is another case, like uh, the, um, you can drive, but at the same time, you can see the navigation. Uh, you don't have to see the small, tiny navigation. You can just uh, see through the glasses, so the uh, front, uh, front glass, and then they will show you the, all the information. The another case uh, is like abusing, abusing, abusing kids. So uh, the little, let's say like the, how you feel about the, this like monster parent, if the monster parent, that this parent is abusing kids. You can be the person, you can be that uh, kid, then from the kid's point of view, you can feel how fear these uh, cases. Uh, by sharing this one with other people, they at least know how since they know how the kids feel, if we uh, score the kids, like, then we probably may improve the, how we can behave to the kids, like that. So this is an experience sharing. Uh, another case is like, uh, yeah, so the game. Uh, you can play a uh, game, but then, uh, let's say like the, here, Star Wars, and then Darth Vader is there you probably don't have like, any chance to see him. But then, uh, of course, like, uh, if we bring this kind of character inside VR, you may feel reality, you may feel real. So uh, that is another great thing. You can play the, you know, the, this lifesaver, <laughs> the sound, and also fight. Uh, this is another thing, it's like 2020 now, uh, what they brought, like the Oculus, they brought the hand recognition. You don't have to have the controller. Uh, only with the, your mount headset, you can see your hands, and then your hand can interact with the game. That is another great thing. Uh, yeah, so, so that's it. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, here is my LinkedIn and in Twitter. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Uh, thank you so much.